Y'all weren't happy about this loss. I understand it. We had a 15-point lead, we blew it. But that's basketball. That's the way basketball is, you know what I'm saying? One quarter, you're the greatest team of all time, and the next quarter, you give up 45 points to Jason Tatum. Like, it, it happens. It happens, okay? So today's episode, we're going to do a little bit of simulation and see what's going on around the league. The next game we got against the Indiana Pacers, um, they look relatively the same. In some games, I'm going to completely simulate. In other games, I'm going to simcast because I like that matchup, and I might want to jump in if it's a close game. We, we lost another one, and Brooklyn Bridges had a terrible shooting night. I like the idea of him getting up 20 shots for sure. I just prefer if more than four of them go in the basket. So that's not great, but he's still averaging 30 on the season. Um, so the Mavericks lost. Yeah, yeah, so they lost Kyrie Irving. This is not a good matchup. I feel like we blowed him out. So I'll just go get past that. <laughs> ah, yeah, yep. Okay, oh, you know what I need to do? I want to look at our pick equity stuff. So this, 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 we're in 2024. So we don't even have, we don't have a single pick this year. There's no incentive to be bad. Like some of y'all were saying, why don't you just bought them out? Now I find out for sure. There's no incentive to be bad this season at all. Not even a little bit. But I could have sworn, let me go look at that Kevin Durant trade one more time. Cause I could have swore there was something. Nope, 2024 is not about the dog. It's 2023. So 2K got it right for once. 2025, 2027, and 2028. So we need to add that. And then 2029, but we can't even go as far as 2029 right now. So, uh, so yeah, there's no reason for us to be bad, we're, like, on purpose. We're bad on accident. <laughs> we're bad on accident. Nicholas Claxton fouling out, and then Derrick Jones Jr. fouling out in 17 minutes is not ideal. I can't call no game a layup. I can't call no game a layup. But the Hornets receive, no. Now, I can't call no game a layup, but if there is a layup out there, it might be this one. John Isaac is now in Detroit, so that's kind of interesting. I might simcast this one because if, it, if we can't have a close game that we don't jump into, the way we hooping right now, if it's close, I need to take control and take over and win, win us a basketball game because as of right now, we are just not them. Um, it is a win, I think. Yeah, it's a win. First win of the season comes a week into it. 125 points put up. And Mikel Bridges, baby, he's averaging 30 right now, man. He's averaging 30 through the first week of basketball. Now, I know a lot of things can happen. A lot of things can change, but averaging 30 for my boy is dope. We need that all-star appearance. I'm not simcasting this one because we just had a lot of, we've had a lot of episodes going against Philly. I can't do it again. Luke Kennard in a first round pick uh, that's top three protected for use of Nurkic. Let's, st let's stop simulating and take a look if that makes sense. I don't think it does though, because if I'm not mistaken, Steven Adams is still around. Uh, he is, and he's still got two years left, and they also have Brandon Clark, who's on a four-year deal, and they also brought in Mason Plumley. So, no, it does not make sense for them to trade for another uh, another center. That, that, I got that ability as the commissioner of this league to do stuff like that. We lose by 30. Uh-huh. And then this game, we, 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 lo we, we lose by 30. We started off the season 1-5, baby. One and, can we get a round of applause for our... Our team, man, things are going exactly. Marcus Sasser's really upset, but you, you, you are also a second round pick. I don't know why you expected to come in and be like a killer, getting minutes over some of the other dudes. I'm completely, I'm, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. Give us some time. Cleveland Cavaliers, we're simcasting this one. They really want this trade to happen. And I'm going to keep saying no. We haven't seen the Cavs in this series just yet. Please let this be the time. I do want to get some gameplay. I don't want this to be an all simulated episode. So I need something at least good enough for us to jump into. Down, down by 14 with five minutes to go. Um, let's take a look around the league. We're two weeks into the season. Right now, we are uh, one of the worst teams in basketball at one and six. We might be the worst team in basketball at one and six. Uh, nope, the Charlotte Hornets. Can we go against the Hornets in the playoff, uh, in the game right now? We need a win. Uh, Charlotte Hornets are down there with us. And then the Phoenix Suns. Oh, Book is injured? Book got injured. Wait a minute. Book got injured. How long are you out, though? Two to four. Woo! And we this is the year we don't even got their pick. Oh my god, how unlucky. The Denver Nuggets are also bad. Okay. There's a team that I got my eye on. There's a team I got my eye on. That's all I'm saying. There's a team I got my eye on. This team right here got the jumped all the way up to the second overall pick and drafted School Henderson. 6'2, a point guard out of out of the G League Ignite. Having a good rookie season so far. The splits are crazy. If they are not very good. I will put a bid in to bring Trey Young to New York, but across the bridge. He got the shoes that say King of New York. He's 50, 40, 90 right now. Sheesh. Uh, 57, 47% of three. But if they are a sub-500 team later in the season, I'm putting a bid in, bro. I don't even know we got the trade, but I'm putting a bid in. 
Um, because because I I would I would do that. You know what I'm saying? That's a long shot because he's really good, and I don't think they're gonna be that bad. But if they end up being that bad, th- those are the type of things we gotta start thinking about. You know, taking a look around the league, seeing these bad teams, and try to figure out, okay, do they have anything that we want? It ain't even gotta be like a star player. It ain't. We ain't gotta go get the Trey Youngs, but like. What's another bad team other than the Sun? Like the Wizards have Bruce Brown. I would trade for Bruce Brown. You know what I'm saying? They got, ooh, they got Anthony Black. Is he starting? He is. That's kind of nice. I mean, they're not good. They're they're a little bit better than us. But, you know, those are the type of things I got to keep in mind. Um, this team ain't got nothing worth even talking about. Like, I can't even explain how bad they are. All right, but we got Washington twice. Again, they're they're slightly better than us just because they ain't played enough games. I'm okay. There's a good second quarter. I was about to say, if we are getting blown out by the Wizards, I did a terrible job this offseason. Four point game with four minutes ago. I'll jump in this. I'll jump in this. Let's get some gameplay, man. Let's get some gameplay. You know, it's been, it's been a little minute. It's been a little minute. I'm ready to lock in and lock up. Uh, let's take a look and see exactly what's going on. Bradley Beal with 20 points on 20 shots. Uh, Den- bro, Denny has a rebound in real life, too. Insane, bro. I don't know what his 2K numbers say. Uh, yeah, he's a great rebounder. On our side, Brooklyn Bridges, seven made three. Oh, he's an all-star. We got to get our record up. We got to get our record up for him to be, like, in there, in there. But based on the first two and a half weeks, individual performance goes, ain't no way you can convince me he's not an all-star. No way. Xbox sounds like it's about to explode, bro. I- I'm a little bit afraid of it. Y'all hear that? It sounds like it's about to explode. I don't know. Um, let's hope it doesn't. Uh, that would make for good a good YouTube video, though. Here we go. Cam. Good. Oh, no, it's supposed to go to the rolling door. Finish Smith, and we missed the open look. Well, I guess that wasn't open. We missed the look. A bad offensive possession from the guys. We need to stop Cam. It's just too small. Dayron with the help. Thank you, Dayron. You know what I'm saying? I would rather have Claxton in the game right now, but there might be a reason why you in, so we're not even going to check it. All right, let Claxton get at least a little bit more um, rest. Or, I mean, he genuinely might be, like, injured or something. Not injured, but, like, what's the word? Tired. Or fouled out. Yep, 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 fouled out. There it is. No! It was supposed to go to Mikhail. I might not score in these four minutes, but I was better off letting them play. All right, who is this? Number 20. I can't even tell who that is. Oh, that's Bruce Brown. That's Bruce Brown. Okay. Here we go. Bradley Beal trying to sauce it up. Why is Mikhail Bridges not on him? Why is Mikhail Bridges not on No way. No, 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 no. Why is Mikhail Bridges not on him? He is the guy. Put Mikhail on him, man. That's our coach is using all of our timeouts. Let's get Nicholas Claxton in the game. Let's get our best closing unit together. J.K. Claxton fouled out. So it is. It's the Dayron Sharp at the, at the uh, center spot. That's fine. Dayron's not terrible. I actually like him as a backup. Of course, you'd rather have Claxton because he's the better player. But it is what it is. All right, now it's time to really turn up. We have not scored since we started, uh, since we jumped in. And I was going to say that's, that's changed it right here. It could. Mikhail put the ball on the floor. It's not there. Um, Anthony Black is a lot taller than I thought. I, didn't, I did not know he was that tall. Okay, here we go. Cam trying to get down. He'll give it up to Dayron. He got the small defender. We got three seconds. Get that, uh, get that ball in the basket, Dayron. Get that ball in the basket. Let him know. He one point away from a double double. You love that. If they got a switch, we're gonna take advantage. We got, we got good bigs. No way you get me back to. Who is that? Dayron short with the block, and it, it ends in a, a layup still. But hey, Dayron, man, silver lining. If we lose this, <laughs> silver lining that if we lose this game, Dayron Sharp had a good one. That's another bucket. Oh my God. Oh my God. If we don't have our pick this year, and we about to be the worst team in bat, we on pace to be the worst team, second worst team in basketball. That's the wrong icon, but I'll take a three from Cam. Knock it down. Thank you. It was supposed to go out to Dorn Finney Smith. That's a big shot though, Cam, with a minute, two minutes to go. Narrowing down to five. We love that. We love that, Cam. We trust you in that corner. We trust you everywhere. I, honestly. Well, we got you closed in a lot of these games, man, because we really do trust. Really do trust you to take those big time shots. I don't know why we're like face guarding Denny as if he's Clay Thompson. We gonna sag off him and make him shoot. You know, if he hitting shots and we lose, we live. You know what I'm saying? We say, hey, he was just a better player today. I like this play. I like that play. Yep, Brooklyn Bridges knock it down. Bang, two point game. Two point game. Use that timeout, Wes. Use that timeout, Mr. Mr. West Jr. All right, it's a two point game. What was that game? Just like that. Two main shots. Two main shots is all it took, and we back. And that is a forty piece. Let me say it again. That is a 40-piece and a troll. A, char- a charge. Oh, I thought it was a charge. A 40-piece for, for Mikael Bridges, man. The dude is here. No matter what y'all say. Something you said. No, he's not going to make that all-star appearance. His overall is not high enough. Man, stop it. If he's averaging 30 and we are completely, completely terrible, which is something we have to show that we're not, uh, yeah, he can make that. Well, if you don't stop that, he can definitely make it. We need this win, though. 
we're going to get them again in a couple days. We, we're not trying to split it with them, bro. We just we want to dominate this Washington Wizards team because I think we're significantly better. They lost, whatchamacallit, right? Porzingis not on this team anymore. Uh-huh, you thought I was going to take the three? I saw the lane. Thank you, Mikhail. No need to settle even though you we know you got that strap. We know you can shoot it from anywhere. No need to settle. Get to the basket. Let's get the stop, though, team. Dang. Rally deal with the shift. I just... My defense is so poor. Like, my individual stick defense. Uh-oh. Um, It's just so bad. I can't stay in front of nobody. But I re I'm not going to play off-ball against the CPU. That's just lame more activity, if you ask me. I think off-ball in general is lame more activity, but especially against the CPU. Cam with the burner. It's a one-point game. Wide open. Cam Thomas. Uh, yeah, Cam Thomas. I almost got that mixed up. All right, we need to stop, though, Mikhail. We need to stop. There we go. Clamps go. We know you got it. We know you got it. We know you got it, Mikhail. All right, there's no rush. We're down by one with 40 seconds to go. Keep running the same play then. If they don't want to guard it, Mikhail. Yep, same lane. Oh, um, oh, oh, no, no, no. Get it, get it. Get it out, get it out. Cam downhill. Get the foul. Yes, he got the foul. You saw me shift it on the last second. I switched the shot and that drew the foul. Cam is, Cam is nasty like that. Let's make our free throws. We're on the road. And the free throw difficulty is pretty high. We knocked down the first one. At least ties it up. No matter what happens, um, I feel good. We get the last shot, and we get the we get that bucket. Great. Get a stop. Hit some free throws. We walk out of here with a win. Get a stop. Hit some free throws. We walk out of here with a win. Yep. Get your last time out for the Washington Wizards. We like that. Oh, I should have made a. I should have brought in some. They took. They took out the best defensive player on the team. That was Jacques Vaughn. You might get fired. You might get fired. You might get fired after this. You might get fired after this, bro. You took out Mikael Bridges? Oh, my God, bro. What sense does make it make sense, Jacques? I didn't even notice, bro. What the heck? I just, I can't just trust my coach to keep a defensive team in, I guess. That makes no sense to me. Now, if that wasn't the reason we gave up a bucket, but still. That, that's just, just stupidity. All right, boys. Down by one. We got our, one of our closing units in the game. Give it up to Spencer Dinwiddie to start this off. Okay, take what the defense give you. Take what the defense give you. This is a rookie. This is a rookie. Cam, one more. Brooklyn Bridges. Oh my God, they brought the double. They brought a double. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh my God. One and seven on the season. Um, Next game is against the Washington Wizards as well. We, we need this win. That's an amazing first quarter to get, score 40 points. Just keep the lead, boys. I trust and believe in you. I trust and believe in you to close out and get a win. Doran Finney-Smith puts up 21. He had six threes. Cam hit five threes. We had 17 threes as a team. You love that. Oh, Porzingis is on this team. He was. He might have fouled out last game. Why was he not on the court at all? I just assumed that he he didn't foul out. They just didn't play him down the stretch. They played Daniel Gafford, and he got the game winning shot, right? He dunked the ball. Um, so, yeah, I cannot believe how bad this is going to start the season. We're 2-7. and seven. Here's the New York versus New York matchup. I'm here the, the, for, the, for the state of New York. They're the better team. They have the better record. I need some redemption on the sticks because that last, that last game was dreadful. Um, it don't look like it's happening in this game. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, we just aren't good. We just aren't good. And, you know, luckily we go against the Suns next, who, are so, who also aren't good. Nobody's trading the first round pick for TJ McConnell, so I'm going to say no. I am so disappointed in us right now. I mean, luckily for us, we're going against this team. They still have Kevin Durant and some other pieces, but they have not been good. They're Oh, they're better than us now. <laughs> they're better than us now. I need some redemption, man. I need some redemption. And uh, it's not happening today. We didn't hit 100 points. Yeah, this is this is a lot rougher than I anticipated, man. Do we need to make a trade already? We cannot dig ourselves in too big of a hole. Should we be looking? Let's look around the league uh, and try to figure out what the heck we're doing. Because I'm not completely sure. You know what? You know what we should probably look at first? Look at individual players and figure out. Not, nobody's to blame. But it's really the fact that nobody else can score. Actually, he's down He's down to 20, uh, 23 points per. We just don't have offense. Our offense is awful. Um, I bet our defense is not terrible, though, as far as points per game given up. Let's see. JK, we have the second worst defensive rating in basketball. And we also we have the we have the second worst defensive rating and offensive rating in basketball right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Um, hmm. 
we need to start making some, it's early, it's 11 games in, but we got to start looking at decisions to be made. I said we might try to go in and snag up a Trey Young, potentially, if they disappointed. But, but why would they want our pieces? If we can't get, you know what I'm saying? We can't even figure it out. He's a 93. We're not going to be able to make that trade happen. Luka's up to a 99, by the way. I want, I want y'all to, to see that in your brain at 24 years old. He's a 99 and, and really engraved that in it. It's early. I think that today we get to at least November 30th, so that's this many games. And then, we'll, then, then we have to start having real conversations about what the next, what, what do we do with this team. I'm not trading for Larry Markin, and I'll tell you that, especially if it costs us Mikel Bridges. Um, but we need another game where we could jump in and, and, and make something happen. Tie game with five minutes to go. Up my alley. Redemption time. Redemption time. Because right now we suck. Story of the game is Bam and Tyler Hero. Um, oh, we, our friend Joe Harris is over here. And then Mikel, I thought he was going to be an all-star. <laughs> He's not. He's not going to be an all-star. Dang. Um, especially if we suck. So here we go. Here we go. He just needs to get some stops and turn that into offense. Luckily for us, Jimmy Bell is tired. So he might not come out of this game, but he ain't going to be as effective if he's tired. We should probably put McHale on him. We'll give it, we'll give it a possession or two to figure it out. Um, Cam is not terrible either, a terrible option. They're running down a lot of clock just to get a bam layup. Our defense is one of the worst in basketball. Man, I thought we did it. I thought we had a good offseason. Not that I thought that we was going to come in and I didn't even think he was going to be like a four seed, but we're not even in a hunt for no play in. It's, er it's early in the season. Cam, catch, shoot, bang. It's very, very early in the season. So I can't say, oh, we absolutely won't make it now. But the way this beginning of the season started, we were completely healthy. It's not a good sign. It's not a good sign at all. That's a charge. Jimmy's definitely trying to force his way. He's definitely trying to force his way. Cam not having none of that. Oh, we can switch that. We can switch that for sure. Cam is like, I'm sitting in this chair. They got three seconds to get a shot up. Good defense team. Great defensive possession from the good guys, man. Let's run. We got the lead right now. But we're not just trying to have the lead and win. We want to get our advanced stats to look better, bro. We suck. Mid-range jump shot, Spencer Dinwiddie. Give me that one, baby. I got to start thinking about that a little bit more. Spencer Dinwiddie's mid-range jump shot, um, mid-range rating is really high. We actually got a decent amount of those people. So we should just run a bunch of pick and rolls and pull up for the long two if we need to. Basically, our offense right now, at least when I'm playing on the sticks, is like layups or three-pointers. We very rarely look in the mid-range area when I feel like we can. Good defense from Spencer Dinwiddie. Um, big worm move from Bam out of bio, get the offensive board, and brings it back down to one. We would love to close out those possessions, but I understand it's not as easy as it sounds, you know? Sometimes things are going to happen. Dinwiddie. Oh, there you go, Dorian. Thank you, man. I'm telling you, he be rolling to the basket very, very hard, bro. Roll to the basket very hard, and we reward him when we can. All right, so we got a lot of people are tired. Um, Mikhail is tired now. Jimmy Butler's tired. Okay, somebody used the timeout. It was them. Cool. All right, two and a half minutes to go. Up by three. We need to hold this lead. Hold this lead right now. Good defense, Mikhail. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right, let's, let's slow it down just a little bit. Not saying that we've got to play passively, but we got to be we got to be aware. Oh, yeah, I like this play. I like this play. We got to be aware of circumstances. Get the foul. And one! Mikhail Bridges, he's too strong. Oh, my God. I've never seen an animation actually go in. Kevin Love, what you going to do? Oh, you going to give it out to VO. All right, get this stop here, team. Get this stop. Dinwiddie, 17 and 8. I feel like Dinwiddie's the odd man out. Why did I jump right there? Why did I jump? Okay, we're still here. That's a good-looking shot. Yep, it is. Yep, it sure is. I feel like Spencer Dinwiddie, long-term, is the odd man out. Last year of his contract, a little bit older than the rest of the core. He, he's, he's been like a good starter, replacement, starting point guard his whole career. DFS, bang! You know what I'm saying? Big shots. But he feels like the odd man out out of all of this. But I just don't know what that means. You know, do we trade him away to a team? I'm just, I'm, I'm not even saying we trade him at all. But if we do trade him, do we trade him away to a team that's trying to buy and we get draft capital or young players? Or do we use him as one of the trade pieces to get us getting better? I told y'all in the last episode, I'm here, for the, I'm here for the long run, whatever that means. If that means we six years down the line before we get a championship or whatever, then so be it. So should I be thinking with that in mind? Oh, good, good cut, good cut, good pass. Double digit, Spencer Dinwiddie. He's not saying that Spencer Dinwiddie's going to get us a good haul if we sell him to a, a buy-in team. But we might be able to get a draft pick in this year's draft or something, you know? So those are the things I got to keep in mind. Um, and then it allow, allows us to get Marcus Sasser some minutes to figure out if he's a guy that we want to keep long-term since he's a second-round pick and he don't have a guaranteed contract for next season. So Din Dinwiddie, I'm just saying. Trey Young makes sense, too. Give me that. No good. Trey Young makes sense, too. 
but maybe just not for us, you know? Like we gonna walk out of here with a W, a, a icing on the cake bucket right here. That's, I should've threw the lob. Throw the lob, Kenny. You know he gonna get it. It's Nicholas Claxton. Throw the lob, man. Uh, Cal Lowry three. It's not over, ladies and gentlemen. They might be playing a foul game on this one. They are. All right, Dinwiddie. Knock these down, and then it's over. You know, right now, five points with... Oh, man, we missed the first one. Five points with 12 seconds ago. It's still possible. It's unlikely, but it's possible. Uh, but they, they threw in the white flag, did they? They put Nikola Jovic in the game and took out Jimmy Butler? They put Omar Yurt 7 in the game for the rebound, maybe? I don't know what the heck they doing. I ain't gonna complain, but I don't know what they... Yeah, Jimmy Butler is... Back on the court. Okay, so they didn't give up. They still think they had a chance. Down by six with 12 seconds ago. I'm going to tell them right now they don't really have a chance. Kevin Love for the three. No good. Rebound. And they draw the, they, we draw the foul. I'm not shooting more free throws, so there we go. A win. Woo! We got a win. 25-7-3 here. Why did my starting center have seven turnovers? What was he doing? I didn't do any of those turnovers, right? What was my starting center doing to have seven turnovers? Miami again. Larry Nance. Everybody's trying to give up a pick, and this just don't make sense. Um, a Pelican's worst swap for Malik Monk? No, I can't say yes to that. Galan Wright, why do they, why don't they want to get rid of the Martins? I'll say yes to that. That's not a, a, a needle mover. Back-to-back -back wins. Hold on, boys. Back-to-back -back wins with 4-9. It's a back-to-back -back night going against Damian Lillard. Um, Cam Thomas for Poku. And Isaiah Joe, I'm going to have to say no to that one. We lose to Damian Lillard. We got four days of rest. Use those four days the right way, boys. KCP in the first for Kevin Herter. Hmm. I'm going to have to stop simulation. I got to see what the Kings are up to. If the Kings are a good team, then no. But if they're struggling right now, the Kings are 6-9. and nine. I think it's too early for them to be selling off pieces. Um, so I'm going to... Uh, Boogie's back on the team. We're going against the... Evan Fournier in a pick for... Why are there so many trades getting offered? Marvin Bagley is not worth the pick. And I, yeah, I'm being that type, of, that type of owner of this league. I just... I don't want a pick to be traded for Marvin Bagley. You know what I'm saying? Hey, a 30-point win for the good guys. Look at that. Hey, man, we're doing good things. We're doing good things. Back-to-back um, -back night. Cam for Malachi Brand of swapping picks. I'm going to say no to that. I'm going to say no to that. And we've got another win. We're just four games under 500 after that slow start. That's a four four players putting up 20 plus points. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay, we got two more games before the end of this episode. Um, Chris Boucher for Larry Nance. Sure. See, that's like a nobody walks out of there like, oh, we. Why would they be giving up the pick? Bagley is not on that. No, no. I thought the Atlanta Hawks were starting. They sell a little bit earlier. They not. Um, we won another game. Three game win streak. Claxton for De'Aaron Fox. Yeah, the king. They're trying. The Kings are trying to sell us stuff off. No, man, I can't. I can't accept that. And Bagley again. Why do the Knicks want Bagley so much? I'll say yes. If if you offer the same trade three times, I'm just gonna say yes because because obviously you want that trade to go through that much. We lost to the Hornets, who are were were, were three and fifteen at that moment. So I just wanna I just wanna let you know that. All right, so we're about eighteen games through the season. Pretty cool. Um, out east, we are not the worst team. We're fighting for a playing spot. All right. Okay. Um, the Raptors are not very good. Raptors are not very good. Team that we could potentially start talking to to maybe get some of their pieces. Um, or vice versa. The Miami Heat, also not very good. Wizards are about the same as us. Um, out West, the Denver Nuggets. MVP Jokic can't get it done, I guess. Jamal Murray's coming off the bench for Mike Conley. What is, hap what is happening? Uh, the Suns, we already saw that they lost Devin Booker, and that's a big blow to their team. The Timberwolves are, they don't have a starting point guard um, that they trust. They got Dylan Brooks out of free agency, though. The rest of the team is not terrible, honestly. I'm surprised that they're this bad, even though they don't have a point guard. The Spurs, oh, you want to see what Ben Simmons is doing this season? Eight, four, and five. Solid, solid. You know, just career lows across the board. But some of y'all were upset we traded them away. I ain't going to forget. All right, so... Let me know. Let me know things that we should do on um, next video. Should we start thinking about trades and stuff? I'll be in the comment section like I always am. I appreciate you.